What's up, everyone? Welcome to, um, yes, another team analysis, because, yes, another draft league. We're in four at the moment. You can call me crazy. I understand. But welcome to the first uh, analysis video of the uh, O'Gablin uh, draft league. I believe I pronounced that correctly, but let's be honest. I never pronounced anything correctly, or as they, or as an acronym is, OGDL, um, uh, the, um, aka the Dragon Den draft league. I'm just stumbling over my words. This is a great intro. But um, I decided to do a little bit. Cra I decided to do something a little bit crazy this week. Uh, well, this draft. I decided to do Pokemon. I have like very little to no experience in, and I decided to do a Sun Team. And you might be wondering, that's a terrible idea. Last time you tried to do um, a specific uh, team, it blew up in your face. And I say to you, yes. So let's go again. So my first ever pick, uh, starting of the draft, was was Walking Wake Leg Day. Um, you can't have a Sun Team without the Walking Wake. It's probably the best Pokemon to have on a Sun Team. Gives you the Water Type. Gives you the Dragon Type. And pairs very, very nicely with both Torkoal, which you can see down there, my Sunsetter, my amazing, amazing boy. As well as I picked up Corviknight, aka Raven. The reason I picked up Corviknight was both to stop people from having um, an Iron Valiant Corviknight slash Iron Valiant uh, Dragon Pult uh, core. As well as I just thought the Steel Typing and the Flying Typing just fit really well in my team. It has really nice bulk. And though the Sun will be up, so Fire Moves are going to hurt this thing a lot more. Um, it can handle anything else like uh, rain, sand, things like that. So after the first three Pokemon that synergize really, really well, this is a, this is a quick one. We go straight into Ribbon, a uh, Pokemon I have used before. Uh, so Ribbon here, um, you've, if you've seen my other content, uh, you know I absolutely love Sylveon. You know how bulky it can be. You know how amazing it can be. I'm really excited to use that as my wish uh, wish uh, Pokemon once again uh, to be some bulk. <coughs> and this time for it to not to die nearly every single game. Uh, moving on is first time using uh, Hooper, the little baby one. And this is also my Terra Captain. So when I first picked Hooper, um, I got a message being like, are you sure you want to do this? And I had to say, yes. Yes, I am. Though it has 60 defense, I think as a Terra Captain, it can be very, very nice. Um, as well as it can wall any special attackers. So if I see a special attacker, I can pretty much just bring this in safely. Um, and then either set up with something or do some, at least some big damage uh, back at it, which is really nice. Because between Nasty Plot, set up a screen. Um, even if I set up a screen to, as I switch into a um, physical attacker, even better. Or I can even Trick Room and Thunder Wave because uh, my slow speed. Whatever I whatever I decide to do, I know it can definitely work out um, in my um, in my favor. Up next is Fuzzy the San uh, Sandy Shocks. Um, once again, uh, thinking about having a Sun Team, I was like, these Paradox Pokemon are probably the best Pokemon I could ever ask for. Uh, with this, uh, with this Sun Team, I was like, Electric Ground, such a great typing. I know this thing is a great, uh, Stealth Rock setter. I know it hits very hard. I've been hit against it many, many times. And I overall thought to myself, look, honestly, um, I think, I definitely need a Ground Type. I definitely need Electric Type. So why not combine the two? Uh, speaking of combine the two, we have Mothra the, uh, Slitherwing. So for my other, uh, Sun Pokemon, it was very, very difficult. Um, I was thinking between either this or, um, Lilligant H. I decided to go with this because I thought uh, First Impression Choice Bandit, U-Turn Choice Bandit, anything Choice Bandit on this thing or even just Up Attack in general was really, really nice. The fact that um, not only did I get swept in it in my uh, semis of RLDL, but I also just thought to myself, look, it gets amazing coverage set as well with Dual Wing Pick, Earthquake, uh, Flame Body, Body Press, or Flame Body, Flame Charge, uh, Flare Blitz, Body Press, etc, etc. I was like, there's no way I can't pick this up. So I decided to pick it up um, and I think it'll do really, really well for me. <laughs> for me um it has decent bulk overall which is really nice and like i said nothing really wants to switch against um a first impression um choice banded mon up next is good boy because i need some more speed on my team as well as i needed a rock type so i was like why not bring out good boy my uh my dude knows sword dance he's really there to set up rocks possibly uh get hit to a focus sash and do big damage back that's pretty much what my aim is for this pokemon i'm very excited i've used the midnight form so i'm hoping that this form can keep up the amazingness um Unfortunately, its abilities aren't too useful. I mean, Sand Rush could be if I'm bursting a Sand Team. But overall, um, I think it'll be a very fun Pokemon to use. And I know it can hit hard. Getting towards the end here, we have uh, backwards the Muck. Um, I, once, I need a Poison type. Originally, I was going for the Alolan Muck. But I was like, I got, that got sniped. So I was like, look, normal Muck is good enough for me. Has really good uh, really good bulk. Another physical attacker. Great uh, move coverage. There's not much else to say, to be honest. Not only that, but I'm losing my breath. So I'm, I'm speeding through this real fast. Um, up next is, um, another sun, uh, sun Pokemon, Brute Bonnet, Emo. I needed, I needed a grass type him with no dark type on the team either. I was like, Brute Bonnet, once again, amazing coverage, um, really good bulk. I keep repeating the same thing because a lot of these Paradox Pokemon do the exact same thing 
or have very similar uh, things to say. Like, great coverage, great bulk, hits hard. It's a, it's a sun team. You get it. It's a sun team. But you might be wondering, what the heck is Christmas doing here? Christmas, uh, the weird deal, I really got for both the Intimidate, Frisk, and Saxeba. I think all three abilities are such good abilities. Specifically, Frisk, just so I can always know what item someone has. Um, and between being both physical and special, so I can uh, bounce between the two. And having a move um, like uh, Psychic Shield that uh, may miss, but if I do hit it, it will always raise my defense. That is uh, such a good um, move and such a good trade-off as well if I am fighting a more physical um, team. But overall, this is the team. This is what I'm working with. Um, how am I feeling? Very, very nervous. Um, it seems to me that I'm biting people that have either won draft leagues before or have gone very close. I know I got very close in RLDL, but I'm still very new to draft leagues. But I'm confident I will make you all proud. Wish me the best of luck.